What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, airing down and um, airing back up. Um, it's a lot of ways that people do it. Um, not a lot of ways I guess. It's air compressors and uh, the thing that I, I'm going to talk about is the CO2 tanks. Um, so I have one of these little guys and what, is, what you use it for is to air down. A lot of people already have one of these and I'm not really teaching you but these make it super easy to air down super fast and exactly to the right pressure that you need. But the main thing I wanted to talk about is my CO2 tank. That's it. That's all you can. You have to carry with you, and you can uh, air up your tires super fast. So I saw this online, and I saw that some people were using it, and basically the reasoning is that it's super fast, way faster than the compressor, and you don't have to worry about installing a compressor or hooking it up to your battery or anything like that. It's just pull this out and uh, start fueling up or start airing up. Um, all of these things. I purchased on Amazon. Um, I can give you guys the link, of course. And uh, I, uh, I purchased the one with the uh, with the shield here, the handle. <clears throat> it's a nice handle, and it also helps protect the 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 neck here from snapping off. And then there is uh, this guy, the um, whatever the fuck it's called, this valve connecting piece. It's its own piece. So what you buy with the uh, tank only ends here. It's up to here. Then this whole like Y piece is its own piece. And then the hose and a regulator. Thank you, my Bob. This is the Jayco, a uh, digital one. So you have to put batteries in it if it runs out, whatever. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can bring these to anywhere that they fill up uh, CO2 tanks. Um, I bring it to my local liquor store. It charged me 20 bucks for a full tank. Um, I've used it uh, once. <laughs> I've only had a chance to use it once. Uh, basically, my buddy, the only way I've compared it, I know people compared it to the, uh, to, um, to ARB tanks. The speed compar comparison is to ARB tanks and um, basically it's a little bit like around twice as fast. And yeah, I comp my buddy has a, I have this guy too, just in case I run out of CO2. Cause I mean, you run out of CO2, then you're fucked. So I got one of these and essentially these guys are the ones that are hook up to your battery. So you have to open up the truck, keep the, you know, and it does it. Um, you do I'm gonna say about three minutes three minutes per tire two to two to three minutes per tire depending on how low you went and how high you're gonna go back up to the old co2 tank was doing um two to three times faster than the compressor there I I stand by it like this thing is legitimate is badass um, and it's super simple um the cost is about 200 bucks I would say around 200 bucks to get one there's a company that sells one um, but uh, they run about 600 bucks I don't know what the difference is maybe better quality parts maybe they won't get leaks anytime soon maybe, I don't know for this product that I got is I, it's been sitting here forever and it's still you know it still has a co2 you know you crack it open Like it's, it's good, you know? Super, super high pressure, super badass. I, that's all I have to say. Um, that's one product that I definitely recommend. Uh, my buddy who actually, who, who has the little v, v, VI Air thing, he's like, oh yeah, we're gonna get one. Like you finish so much faster and it's just, sometimes you don't necessarily have to be fast out there but if the weather sucks and you just want to get back in the truck then that's nice to be able to do this these things quickly you know i should probably do a little display I, I'll, I'll show you guys i'm gonna waste some co2 but it's all good let's air down um 
We'll go down to 20. I believe right now they're about 30. That's usually what the... What's that? What's that? So, let's see if you can see there. We are at uh, about 15, 15 PSI, okay? So that's that. We're down, I, I went a little bit farther just to show you guys how well it works. So 15, 15 PSI there. Uh, we'll go real time here. Uh, we're gonna open this guy up. Plug it in there. So this, if you can see there, it's actually reading 16, okay? That's on the digital gauge 16. And let's go up. So I wish you could see where you're at like this, but you have to actually let go. So there we're at 20. Twenty-four. Thirty point five. That's it. So that's how fast it is, and um, that's why I recommend it. So I had to hook up nothing. All I had to do was bring on my little tank and we're done. The only downside is, of course, you run out of CO2 and you gotta, you gotta figure something out, but that's why I have my little portable guy. And uh, if I ever run out out, out there, then, um, then that's it, you know, you, you swap over, but I think they say about 40 tires you get to one of these tanks, so not bad. So yeah, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. Um, I, I think it's a super cool little thing, little um, device, whatever you're gonna call it. Um, it's pretty fast and it doesn't have its like, um, obviously it doesn't have the, uh, the convenience of a, like a installed, uh, like under your hood installed one, like an ARB one where you can just pull the hose out. But it does have the convenience of being um, quick very quick. It has always links to all of the little parts are in the uh... I mean I'll also put a link to this guy. It works pretty good. This is like uh, super cheap like under 200 bucks I think. Maybe under 100. I, I'll, I'll have to put up the link. I don't remember but it's like literally like it works. My, my buddy uses it all the time and it works. Be sure to like comment and subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys later.